Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to another video. It's your boy, Lou Lifestyle. And yes, I'm looking busted as hell. Probably wearing literally the same thing that you guys see. <laughs> Saw me more last video, but let me be. I was sleeping. This is my sleep attire. Sometimes I like wearing this to the gym for some reason, but your boy needs to go ahead and change. Um, put on his shorts, obviously, and um, just get ready to go to the gym because today, the only reason I'm filming today is because I want to hit a PR today. A rep PR. I wanted to hit 365 for three reps. Whether that's possible or not, shit, I don't know. But I did end up buying this for my meat as well. A little smelling salts. I don't know if you guys can see that. A little bit of smelling salts, you guys know. So hopefully that gives me the extra edge on today as well as on competition day. And it's cold as fuck. It is 40 degrees. I don't care what you guys say. It is cold to me. All right, so don't worry about this situation. This is gonna get done today as well because your boy needs a haircut so I can look fresh for the meat. Yeah, so you already know the vibes. We're mixing up the pre and then uh, heading out because I need to get there before they open. honestly just wanted to film that just that portion of the squad i'm sorry guys i know it wasn't much at all but i still need to bench on my house and i need to go put gas in this whip because um she's almost on e so i need to go do that and then go back home and bench but i feel like i definitely could have got those a little lower it's just like usually when i'm hitting weights that i'm not used to i don't go i don't go deep because i'm scared you guys um I should have got a side view just because I would know how much how deep I got but from the back for some reason it always looks high I mean they were fast which was good and then I did a 2x3 of 325 so just overall in general like it felt good everything felt good nothing was in pain which thank god not like not even my bicep was in pain and that rack sucks I also think it has to do with the rack because when I'm unracking like those little J hook ones fucking hate them man I should have just squatted on my house I don't know why I didn't well lesson learned and yeah. Oh, you already know the vibe looking fresh as always. Shout out to my barber. I'll link him down below if you guys live in the San Fernando Valley or Silmar, anywhere in that area. You guys should go definitely check him out. He's a really good person. You know, the vibes are right. Oh, you guys are a little dirty. Did I drop it? No way. Okay, didn't drop it. The vibes are right. The man is chill as hell. Cuts hair super good. So if you guys want to go ahead and grab a haircut from him, make an appointment. I'll just link his stuff down below so you guys could go get your haircut and look fresh. All right. Uh, today, I really got nothing much planned. Uh, probably going to chill with my girl and stuff. But I just wanted to fill you guys in and show you guys the new haircut. So yeah, I'm probably going to record tomorrow as well just because I didn't record a lot today. So that's what I'm probably going to end up doing tomorrow. Record my tomorrow's gym sets because tomorrow I do have an SPD day. And it's nothing going to be crazy like to, like today where I PR'd. Even though I didn't get that low. But you know what? I'm going to take a W on that one. I'll see you guys tomorrow though. Today, like literally right now, we have singles. That's all we do. We're doing singles now. But at a really low RPE, like six and a half. So we're really not going to be pushing anything more like recovery. And then just going through the motion. So hopefully everything just goes well. Hopefully our numbers are still pretty good. And uh, yeah, let's get to work, everybody. Before I head out, you already know we had to take that pre-workout. Today I'm going to take Gorilla Mode just because um, I'm really tired and I know I need this. Also, sorry if the mic starts making any random noises because for some reason, as I'm near that side of the house, it starts making noises. So let's mix up this pre because we're going to need it. Yo, this is what I mean by look how it looks. It looks so murky. Like this does not look good for you, but it's 
Good. <laughs> Alright then, let me drink this up really quick and then actually start heading out because I do need to head out already. You know what I realized? It's been raining a lot more out here. Look at peep it. You see that? Well, it's not raining right now, but it was. Um, so yeah, you already know the vibes. Same shit, different day. I already said what, what was going to go down. I'm just waiting on my homeboy like always. But hopefully we get a good squat rack because when I filmed that 365 for 3, I had the shittiest squat rack. And I was just so annoyed because you know how when the place has like some big ass J-cups or like the squat thing? I don't know how to explain that. It just sucked. Like just sucked because you had to tippy toe out of there. I don't like that. Um, he should be coming anytime soon. I'm just going to wait in line just so I know I can get a squat rack in time. Why are you looking so serious, dude? All right, everybody, I did get a package in. I've been waiting on this for, I was going to say quite a while, but honestly not a while because it came pretty fast, actually. It is, I got this for myself just because obviously I wanted to spoil myself. I was like, you know, my competition is this week. My training has been going good. I've been on point with everything that I was like, you know what? I think it's time for me to finally buy a pair of shoes. And I've been wanting to buy a pair. Hopefully you guys can see me. I've been wanting to buy a pair of shoes for so long. I just didn't know what pair I wanted to get because I was like, if I'm going to buy one, I'm going to buy one that I actually really want and obviously going to wear pretty often. So let me set you guys up. Fucking stickers. I'm not trying to plug. You guys see? Yo, these are fire. Though they're not the collab of the, I don't know how to say the designer brand or if it is designer, but it's not the collab with them. But I was like, why am I gonna pay more money knowing I could get the one that doesn't just have the name on the tongue? You guys get me like, why spend another $200 more if this is basically the same thing, just does not have the name? I mean, I guess if you're trying to go for value or maybe it would increase in price, but honestly, I just wanted the shoe because I was like, if I messed it up, I wouldn't feel so bad. If I messed up the other ones, I would kind of feel bad about it. But I've been wanting this shoe so bad. Jeez. Yeah, so I got those in. And I'll catch you guys most likely tomorrow. Sorry if I'm not really in the film, like if I'm just off. I'm always just off apparently, but I'll just see you guys tomorrow. Sorry for the hair guys, it is currently two days later and right now I'm having myself a little dilemma just because it is six I think and I don't know whether to go to the gym just because I have literally three singles to do which is just a single on squat, a single on bench and a single on deadlift and I'm like is it really worth going to the gym for just that? <sighs> Shit, I don't even know. Um, you guys are going to see what I end up doing because obviously you guys will see. Ooh, and it's cold as balls. I feel like it's just getting colder and colder. So I'm going to go ahead and get dressed. Probably going to wear some sweats and things like that. But obviously in the gym, just take it off. You guys are going to see what I do. I'm just hoping that the since the other gyms opened up on Monday, I'm just hoping that that gym isn't as packed because at least other gyms are open, if that makes sense. Because oh, I'm not trying to be waiting so long for for a rack or anything like that. Because if it is like packed, packed, I'm definitely just gonna come back to my house. It's just, the reason I decided not to work out of my house was just because it's super cold. So warming up is gonna take forever. I should get going though, because I'm slacking and start sipping on that pre so i'll see you guys in there and honestly i'm not gonna do really much talking just because i want to go in there and just 
get it done. I might do some accessories. Might, but damn, like, it's crazy to think this is like my last training day before my competition. Like, it was literally months ago that I told you guys that I was gonna do a competition, and now it's here. Holy shit, guys. Holy shit. I just wanna make you guys proud. I think that's literally the only thing I care about is making you guys proud and making you guys like, damn, Lewis did what he said he's, that he's gonna do. <sighs> Let's see what my totals are, baby. <laughs> All right, I got back home. I benched at the gym. Normally, I do not bench at the gym at all just because I have to switch up my setup and everything. But today, I was just like, whatever, man. Like, I just wanted to get it over with instead of coming home and benching here, which probably could end up being a bad thing, but I don't even care. Uh, my coach had sent me the game day sheet, which is just the numbers I should be hitting during the meet or like as my attempts. And honestly, they're all pretty good. I wish... I wish the numbers could be a little heavier, but at the same time, doing from pound to kilo conversion, especially calibrated, it's probably going to mess with me a lot, and I'm going to be like, okay, this is heavier than I thought, especially since all the weight is closer to your body, which would probably make it more harder, and there's less whip on the bar. So, we have to keep that in mind, so I'm keeping that in here, and being like, okay, maybe it's not such a bad thing that the numbers are low, because what if those numbers feel a lot heavier, you know? So I'm gonna just stick with that. I'm gonna leave it. My coach's numbers are fine. Should I tell you guys the numbers? No, I don't want to jinx myself because <laughs> if I don't hit any of those, then I'm gonna be a little salty. But peep the fit. I'm pretty sure you guys saw it at the gym, but I'm wearing the new kicks. Hold on. Hopefully you guys are level. Peep the kicks, yo. These are the new New Balances. The, the nice sweats. I wore sweats because like I said, I didn't want to be cold at the gym I just took them off with, from my shorts when I was deadlifting and squatting and then just a regular old Nike hoodie you know the vibes and then my kill the hype hat that was really not even worth the money but now that I have it it's probably the only hat that I wear just because it's black uh, hopefully I did come come out and you guys were able to see the whole body and it's not blurry at all whatsoever right now I just need to get my food ready and all that today's Wednesday I still have to work Thursday and then after that we're gonna drive out there or Friday morning ish oh shit you know what shoes i'm trying to get look i'm an addict guys you know what shoes i'm trying to get i'm trying to get the bad bunny shoes they come out at eight and i just want them i think they're fire and personally i didn't even know they were coming out until i saw them or until my no no i see my girlfriend's about to comment but until my girlfriend sent them to me it was like do you like them i was like oh shit i was like they're actually nice they remind me of like old skate shoes so like i'm pretty sure that's the vibe he went for um yeah damn it actually feels good outside right now hopefully over there it's not cold because if it's cold that means it takes longer to warm up but i mean i should have enough time for all of that i'm probably like the first people to go up and lift and i'm i'm just excited guys i'm ready to kill it i'm ready to to do this for you guys because remember this like i've been saying this or i just said it earlier like i literally said this to you guys when I started lifting, I was like, I want to be a, <laughs> no, okay, not when I started lifting, I was like a little months into starting to lift, I was like, I want to be a power lifter, and I hopped on a program, and then from there on, I kind of figured that I need a coach to actually progress a lot. As soon as I got a coach, all the numbers fucking skyrocketed. You guys saw that 365 for three, and man, man i'm just i'm just really excited because it's for the for the first time in my life i'm putting it into action like i've said multiple things and i've never like actually stuck to it or done it and i always back out for some reason but there is no backing out i paid all this money for that already and then i got all the equipment because i'll just like i want if i'm a if i'm gonna be there i want to have the best stuff and i want no excuses so if whatever whatever happens my lips are shit it's not because of my stuff is bad but more or less because I suck, you know? Um, today when I deadlifting, pulled 315, like fucking, you fucking cake, guys. And then two, 285, 295, or no, 295? It was, yeah, it was 295 on squat. Also flew up, hit depth and everything. Bench 185 just flew up as well. I'm having like minor bicep pain, but I mean like, 
what do I expect? I've been hitting SPD for like two weeks straight, and that shit just mercs you, you know? It's not it's not something that, that you could just fly off the radar and shit. I'm just hoping that the bicep pain, you know, kind of wears off on uh, through the week or the rest of the week at least. And I'm just going to rest up, stretch a little, do my thing, and hopefully during competition day, I really don't have that much pain because today I warmed up with back extension and then I did some leg curls just to like get the hamstrings going as well just because I wanted to feel that pop when I'm deadlifting and I didn't feel that when I when I did 365 yesterday and I just no not, yeah no the day day prior when I did 365 I blew that sh up like I just went boom up like I felt it you guys if you guys deadlift you guys know what it means like when you feel like poppy like you just feel it and you just shoot right up you know like you just feel explosive and that's how I felt on Monday like I, all my lifts felt on point on Monday and that's look and that's that I didn't even wait or didn't even sleep at all so I'm sleep deprived I had worked out the day before like everything still felt super good so let's get this work everybody probably gonna make some cream of weed and stuff like that I wanted to shower but then I'm like the thing is with showering for me right out of the I should be showering I'm about to expose myself I should be showering but I work I'm kind of like I'm near a lot of like stuff that's gross so I'm just like I'd rather come home and shower when I get home I actually cl clean everything off and I don't care if I, I smell like shit at work and I never do just because I, I just normally don't smell at all but it's just like I guess knowing that I'm I've sweated and stuff I don't know I don't care I could care less and the fact that it's cold makes me not want to shower because then I leave with my hair wet and all that stuff. I'm not trying to get sick around here. Oh man, life's crazy. And you know, yeah, life's crazy. All right, everybody, it is the morning. It's time to leave. It's time to go start driving to Sacramento. It's gonna take about like six or so hours, but I just wanted to close off the vlog here. Hold on, let me put you guys down. All right, hopefully I'm in frame, but I just wanted to thank you guys so much. We are literally getting to the end of the series. And after, I think it's 40 episodes, after 40 or so episodes, you know, the day is finally coming. And it, nothing can make me, like, as happy as it is to do this or at least to compete. And just the fact that I followed through with it all, like, I think that's what really makes me proud of myself. So thank you guys again for following me throughout this journey. We're obviously gonna have another competition after this. We're not just gonna stop here, but just thank you guys so much. I will see you guys in the next video. The next video is gonna be the big banger. But yeah, I'm just ready. I love you guys. I'll catch you guys in the next video.